Hello everybody. Hello there. Hello everyone, thanks for coming tonight. So tonight we're going to study uh, speaking and listening skills in English. And uh, let me know, please, if you can, type in the box what your level is and also if you're a teacher or student of English. And also you can type where you're from. From Egypt, okay. Have we got any teachers in tonight or just students? Okay, from Egypt, good. And has everybody got their microphone tonight? Microphone? Have you got microphone or webcam? Okay, Abir is teacher. Yes, it's all right, Mahmoud. It's no problem. This, these things happen sometimes. No problem. Yeah. Um, okay. Has anybody got a microphone and who wants to speak in the lesson? Because if you have, you can talk in the lesson. Okay, so we're going to start with the topic of clothes uh, tonight. And I want to, you to think about your favorite clothes. What are your favorite clothes and why? So type in the box, please. And you can also come on microphone and talk. What are your favorite clothes and why? What are your favorite clothes? Okay, for a beard, skirts, and why? Tell me why as well. Okay, type in the box, yes. Is there a difference in pronunciation? Uh, no, it's only plural form. Clothes, some clothes. We can't say a clothes. We can't say a clothes. Just plural form, clothes. Yeah, good question. T-shirt, okay. Why do you like, why do you like it? Okay, that's good. So, does anybody have the microphone and then we can chat during the lesson? Have you got the microphone? Mm-hmm.
Okay. So let's think about clothes. What do you usually wear? What do you usually wear? Type in the box, please. Clothes that you usually wear uh, during the day. What do you usually wear during the day? Okay. Jeans. Blouse. Okay. What do you wear during the day? Type in the box some ideas and we'll make a list of different clothes. Okay, skirt, dress, blouse, scarf, yes, when it's cold, okay. Now, pants, in English, is, in British English, pants is underwear. It's a type of underwear, so we can say pants. Um, we wear underneath our trousers that men wear. So we can put that. Trousers. Trousers is British English, but pants is, is American English for the same thing. Socks. Okay, what else do you wear on your feet? Shoes, okay. And what do you wear when it's very, very cold? Mm -hmm. Sneakers, we, we use the word trainers in British English. Sneakers is American English. Trainers is British English. Jumpers, so I'm a British teacher from England. Uh, jumpers, okay. Okay, what do you wear at the beach? We can say jacket, yeah. Well, we wouldn't wear a jacket at the beach, but that's in our list. Think about it, it's when it's very hot. Yeah, shirt, we've got shirt. Okay, uh, sea suit, it's not a word in English. Not the word, maybe swimsuit. It's possible swimsuit. Uh, okay, t shirt. Yeah. Slippers. Boots. Hoodie. What does it mean, hoodie? What does it mean, hoodie? It's quite a modern word. A bonnet is something a baby would wear on his head. Yeah, it's like a shirt with a hat. So with a hood, that's why it's called a hoodie. Yeah, with a hood. Okay. And what do you wear at night? What do you wear at night?
Uh, hoodie is, is called a, something covering your head, yeah, hood. The hat is something different, the hat is just on its own. Um, okay, suit. Oh, suit is for business occasion, okay. Yes, what about at night, what do you wear when it's night time, when you go to sleep? Yeah, tuxedo, it's kind of a uh, jacket, isn't it? A smart jacket. Pyjamas, pyjamas, yeah. Okay. And any more things that you wear? What else do you wear? Any more things which are not on the list? Shorts, okay. Yeah. What about if you wear um, a ring or a necklace? Is that is that kind of clothes? Is it clothes? Uh, I'm thinking about the word ju uh, jewellery, jewellery. Jewellery, okay. So, next I'm going to ask you a question and please uh, type in the box, yes, earrings, ring, bracelet, exactly, this is kind of jewellery, isn't it? Yeah? So now I'm going to ask you a question and type in the box, please, if you know the answer. <coughs> Which word in this group has only one syllable? One syllable, but one beat. One syllable. Yes, suit is one syllable, one beat. Suit. Skirt. Dress. Yeah, we can say it in one beat, in one syllable. Boots. Okay, which word has two syllables in this group? Two syllables. No, underwear, underwear, trousers, trousers, slippers, mm -hmm. two syllables. Blouse, one syllable, blouse, jumper is two, trainers, Two syllables. Jacket, two syllables. Jewelry, jewelry, it's also two syllables. Okay, so what we're going to do now is practice how to say these words, practice our pronunciation, okay. I'm going to read the word and then you have to say it out loud, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, repeat the word, okay. Listen and repeat. So, we we'll start at the beginning. Jeans, blouse, skirt, 
stress scarf underwear pants trousers socks shoes trainers jumper jacket shirt swimsuit slipper boots hoodie suit tuxedo pajamas shorts Jewelry Okay, very often in English the spelling of the word is different from the sound. For example, Mr. Mahmoud has made a very good point. He said pants. So this in this spelling in the spelling of this word, we don't hear T sound. We don't hear it. We don't hear T. We don't hear pants. Pants. We can't pronounce it. We can't pronounce that. So we say pants. 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 Yeah, pants. And some more like that. Okay, I'm going to go to Tama. I'll pass you the mic if you'd like to comment. Yeah, everyone else feel free to comment. So we don't pronounce the T Bella Rose because if we did it would be too many syllables. It would be like pannatsa, pannatsa, and it's only one syllable, pants, pants. Yeah, the spelling is different from the sound. Okay, Tamer, if you have a question, then you can type it in the box. Ah, like friends, friends as well, friends. Yeah, it's it's when we get too many consonant sounds together. We have this problem. Okay, uh, can you tell me which words in this list have an ER spelling in them? Which words have ER spelling? Which of the words have ER spelling? Trousers, for sure. Trainers. Yeah. Any more? Jewelry, okay. Slipper. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Jumper. I think one more somewhere. One more. No, ER spelling. Looking for ER. Underwear. Good, Abir. Yes, Abir's got it right. Underwear. Why is it important to notice the ER spelling in any word? Why indeed? So when you see ER spelling, 
you know that this word, this syllable is unstressed. It's not stressed. You know it's unstressed. For example, slipper, slipper, slipper. All the stress, all the emphasis is on the first syllable. Slip. The second syllable is just p, p, p. Very quiet one. Sli is loud, it's big, it's strong, but p it's weak. Slipper. Yeah, slipper. Let's look at another one. Uh, tray. Nurse. Trainers. 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 Second syllable is just nus. Nus. P. Nus. It's very weak sound. And we see it when the word has ER in the spelling. Let's look at another one. Trow. Zuz. Trousers. Trousers. So very often we see the ER and it is a suffix. It's a suffix at the end of the word and ends with, when it ends with ER, we know it's not stressed. Jumper. Good, so Tamer's got it right. This is, is a schwa sound. The vowel sound is schwa, which is the weak syllable, isn't it? The weak stressed uh, vowel sound. Um, so, I'm writing in a phonetic style. This is phonetic spelling. This is the sound of the spelling. And uh, it shows us what which sounds are present in the word. So we've got slip, p, slip, slipper. So we don't pronounce slipper, slipper. Some students pronounce the r, they pronounce the e, but we we mustn't. Trainers, trousers, zuz. It's got the schwa sound. Yes, exactly. Fox is right as well. Jumper. Underwear. Jewelry. So, we know that what is important in, this, in the word is the stressed vowel sound. So, for example, in the word slipper, slipper. The first vowel sound, I, it's the most important sound in the word. In the word trainers, the first vowel sound, A, it's important. We have to stress it, say it loudly. The person listening to you is listening for these sounds, the stressed vowel sounds. Yeah. For example, trousers, the sound, stressed vowel sound is ow, ow. Trousers, jumper, the stressed vowel sound is a, uh, j, jumper. For example, if you pronounce it differently, like maybe like jumper, jumper, then it becomes more difficult to understand you. If you pronounce, for example, trainers like trinus, trinus, then we don't understand. We have to stop and think, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Yeah? Um, some people might pronounce slipper like sleeper, sleeper. which is a different word in English. A sleeper is someone who is asleep. So, the stressed vowel sound is really important in, in the word. And if you get it wrong, 
then it can mean we don't understand you properly. And somebody might say, oh, sorry, can you repeat that, please? Yeah. Exactly, so slip uh, two syllables, stress on the first, and the, the second syllable is just p with the schwa sound. P. Okay, so what does it mean to you as the student or as the teacher? What does it mean to you? Uh, learn the spelling of a new word and the sounds. So when you're learning a new word, learn the spelling, yes, that's important, but also learn the sounds. And most important, the stressed vowel sound. Because from this sound, we get a lot of information about the word. We understand the word. If you have the wrong stressed vowel, uh, then probably we, we will misunderstand you, what you're saying. You know, if you're saying, uh, truces, truces, then I, I stop to think, you know, what do you mean, truces, true? No, trow, trousers. So the second syllable is the same, but the first is different, and that's why we get confused. Okay, I'm going to, to tell you a vowel sound now, and please type in the box, which word is it? Which word is it? Uh, oh. Oh. Which stressed vowel sound is it? Which word is it? Oh. Type in the box, somebody. Uh, which word has this stress? No, pajamas has ah sound. Ah, pajamas. Ah, oh, I'm looking for this sound. Ah. Oh. No, scarf has the same stressed sound as pajamas. Ah, sound. Ah. Oh. Which word has ah? Oh? Short ah oh sound. Mm, difficult. Jacket is ah. Ah sound. Mm. No. So I'm going to give you a clue. We wear this on our feet. Oh. Something with ah. Oh. We wear it on our feet. Ah oh sound. Ah. Oh. Mm. We wear these on our feet. Actually, Fox, you have this sound in your name. You have this sound in your name. Oh, sound. Fox. No, nobody got it. Sock. Socks. Okay, let's try a different one. I'm going to say another vowel sound. Tell me which word has this stressed sound. Ah. Ah. Long vowel sound. Ah. Scarf. Okay. Scarf. It's long R ah sound. Mm -hmm. Jar has it as well. Pants is short ah ah sound. So if you said pants, then it would sound really wrong. It would sound strange and we couldn't understand it. Any more with R ah sound? Um, what about this pajamas? Pajamas. One of the problems in English is that 
the the letters in the spelling are different even when it's the same sound. Here we've got AR for, for scarf and here we've got just A for pajamas. The same sound, different spelling and that's why uh, English is difficult to learn. It's irregular spelling. Jacket has A, jacket. Mm -hmm. Far is R as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, and which word has or long vowel sound or which vowel which word has the or sound? Blouse has ow sound. Boots, oo. So in English, don't forget we have 23 different vowel sounds. Yes, Tamer's got it right. Shorts is or sound. Shorts. In your language, do you know how many vowel sounds you have in your language? How many different vowel sounds do you have? Three? In English we have 23. 23 different sounds. Okay. So Mr. Mamu is saying 12 simple vowels in Arabic. Yeah. So English has 23 vowel sounds. You know, I live in Poland now, and I'm in Poland, and in this country that they have, I think, eight vowel sounds in Polish. Eight. So it's very hard for them to understand uh, English, how to pronounce it, you know. For example, they see the word, this word, suit, and they see suet, because in their language every letter is pronounced, yeah, so they're pronouncing ue, suet. But in English, suit. So how can we learn English? Well, you have to learn by listening, either to a teacher or to CDs, or on the internet, but you learn by listening and reading together. Listening and reading together. Okay, look at the list again now. Look at this list of clothes and remember one of the words, okay? Remember one of the words. Okay, and now tell me this word, please. So tell me one of the words from the list. Blouse. Boots. Jumper and shoes. Okay, that's, that's enough. Thank you. Which two words have the same vowel sound? Which two words have the same stressed vowel? Boots shoes. The same vowel sound, isn't it? Ooh, long vowel sound. In English we have lots of long vowels. English is a musical language with lots of sounds. Boots, shoes. Which word has a schwa sound? Which word has a schwa sound? 
Yeah, jumper, why? 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 Because of ER, we see ER. It's not pronounced, it's just the schwa sound. Jumper. Jumper. The R is not pronounced good. Okay, can you think of a verb? Verb to go before each word. A verb. Where? Moment. Mm -hmm. Put on. Okay. What else can we use for clothes? Take off. It's important as well. Opposite of put on. Um, okay. And one more. Another verb we can put before shoes. But we've, we're using that already. Try on. Okay, so we've got three phrasal verbs. That's interesting, but we need we need phrasal verbs. Okay, good. I want to focus with uh, with present continuous and past simple. It's okay, Mummy. It's a little bit confusing, but I'm <laughs> trying to do it. Yeah. Uh, past simple as well, two tenses. If you think about present continuous, what time is it in present continuous? What time is it in present continuous? Yeah, what time is it? At the moment or now, good. Or as also we can say future. And what is auxiliary verb in present continuous? Auxiliary verb. Helping verb. So what is infinitive up here? Infinitive. Yeah, okay, so I'll help you out. B. B is auxiliary verb. Yeah, um is R. Yes, that's right. What is the time in past simple? What's the time in past simple? Past? A bit more than that. A bit more. Yesterday, for example. Um, I would call it finished time in the past. So last, yesterday, ago. Yes, finished time in the past. And what is auxiliary for? What's auxiliary verb in past simple? No, it isn't. It isn't. No. What's auxiliary verb? No, no, no. Past simple. So we need in question and negative form. In question and negative form. What's auxiliary verb? Not be. That's no. That's present continuous. No. Auxiliary verb. To make the questions. To make questions and negative answers. 
I think was where you're thinking about maybe past continuous. I'm thinking about past simple. So Tamer's got it right. Did. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's good to practice our tenses to know what they're for, what time it is, and to know what the auxiliary verb is. Because in English we have auxiliary verb. Do you have auxiliary verb in Arabic? It's, yes, it's something people get confused because they're not expecting it. You know, they say, um, I am go I'm going to the shop. Are you going to the shop? Yes, I am. Auxiliary for B. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I went to the shop. Did you? Yes, I did. So people think, you know, why does did, why is did part of this sentence? Because it's auxiliary verb. It's there just to make the grammar work. Okay. So, present continuous sentence, please. Choose one of the phrases here. Choose one of the phrases. Type in the box, present continuous sentence, please. A sentence with present continuous using one of these phrases. Okay, I am wearing a jacket. I'm putting on my shoes. Knock. Now, okay. I'm still listening to you. Yes, but use these phrases, Tamar. Use one of these phrases. Present continuous. She was watching TV. Yes, but use these phrases. And she was watching. It's past continuous. He's trying on new shoes. Yes. At the moment, I'm putting on my boots. Okay. Let's make a question now with a present continuous question using one of these phrases. Okay. So, a question from, uh, okay, what are you wearing? That's a what question. Are you wearing a blouse? We can say a blouse. Are you wearing your shirt? Mm -hmm. Are you putting on your boots? What are you doing? Yeah, present continuous question. Mm -hmm. And now tell me a negative sentence. A negative sentence using present continuous. A negative sentence with present continuous. He isn't wearing his shirt, so why not? I'm not wearing the blouse now, why not? I'm not wearing a blouse. Why not? Blouse, check your spelling. Yeah. So good if you're using contraction. I'm, I'm not, but you need capital I, big I, not the small one. 
Kabe Tolata. Yeah. Okay, what about a past simple sentence now? Positive sentence with past simple. Positive with past simple. Okay, he wore his shirt, he put on his boots and took off, mm -hmm. and took them off, took them off, yeah, put on his boots. Put, so put is irregular, isn't it? I put, present, I put, second form, and third form, I put, <laughs> I have put, yeah, put, put, put. Good. Not put it. She tried on her new shoes. Okay. Tried. I E D. Good. Uh, okay. I played tennis yesterday. But use these phrases about clothes, Amira. Cut, cut, cut is another one. Yeah, there is some. There's a small group of uh, irregular verbs where they're all the same, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, what about a question form with past simple, past simple question? One of these phrases. Okay, but doesn't use the phrase, Bella. Uh, did you wear your blouse? Okay, did you? So did plus subject plus verb and then object. Yeah, did you wear your blouse? Did you put on your boots? Did you take off your jumper? Did you? In the past simple, no, I didn't. For example, it's negative. Yeah, no, I didn't. Another question form may be what, where, why, when, when did you try on your shoes? Mm -hmm. So, didn't you wear your jacket? Yeah, this question could be when you are just checking something. It's like you, you know the answer, but you want to check it. Check if it's true or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know there are two t types of question in English. There's what questions. Uh, for example, what, where, why, when, how, which, uh, how many, how much. What questions they're called. And also, there are yes no questions where the answer is always yes no yeah is it does it could it and our voice goes up at the end of this these questions yeah what about a negative sentence with uh, these phrases Yes, what did you do yesterday? So our voice doesn't go up with work questions, but it goes up with yes, no questions. Goes up. A negative sentence now, please. A negative sentence with the... Try to focus on these phrases, okay? We can use any phrases, but let's focus on these ones because our topic is closed today. I didn't wear my blouse yesterday. Full stop, Amir. You need a full stop at the end. Remember, this lesson you're not chatting on Facebook or Twitter. You need punctuation, okay? Punctuation marks. Full stop, capital letters, please. <laughs> yes. 
It's important. Okay, I didn't take off my jump. Now, since, we can't use since in past simple. When do we use since? In which tense do we use since? Mm, perfect tenses, yeah? Perfect. I didn't go, to, did not go to, to cinema, to the cinema. Yes, Amira, but I'm talking to you. Capital letter at the beginning for I and full stop at the end, Amira, okay? Yeah. Perfect tense for since. Since and for. The little things which you get to know them. You get to know them. Okay. Um, type in the box, please. Any sentence now using these phrases plus one of the tenses here. So any any sentence. So not about cinema or children. About these phrases and these tenses. So type in the box, please. Mm -hmm. So I'm waiting for any sentence for using these phrases and one of the tenses. Not uh, okay. Okay, but you nearly tricked me. But it's not one of these. It's not one of the tenses, Tamar. It's not one of our tenses. Present continuous or past simple. So you nearly tricked me, but it's not right. Present continuous or past simple. Okay. No, I said with one of the tenses in this list. Yeah, with one of these tenses. Hmm, what happened? Mm hmm Okay. So you have to imagine I've got a full stop here. That's not something I'm keen on doing. Okay, I'm going to just trick trick it like that. Okay, I didn't put on my shoes. I said any more sentences. One more I can take. One more, please, using these tenses and the, these phrases. Okay, so I tried on. Now we need to uh, determine a sum. Black shoes. When? Yesterday. So past simple time. Yesterday. It's definitely right. Okay. Okay, so we're going to leave it like that. Um, another thing that's important in English, apart from the, the stressed vowel sound, is sentence stress. Sentence stress. That means that in the sentence, some of the syllables are stressed more than others. 
English is like a mountain range. It goes up and down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Um, we can see that when we listen to English. Yeah. Yes, that's a good one, Abir. Her jumper. Her without E. Okay, no problem. Um, how do we find the sentence stress? So, we need to first of all look for uh, content words. Content words are words that have meaning in the sentence. For example, verbs, nouns, adjectives, numbers, and so on. Yeah. So, in this sentence, we're stressing negative form didn't put on shoes last night. Now, these words all have meaning in the sentence. Negative forms are stressed. Didn't. I didn't. I didn't put on my shoes last night. I didn't put on my shoes last night. Didn't. Didn't. So, we don't pronounce every single syllable. I did not put on my shoes last night. I did not put on my shoes last night. This is wrong in English. This sounds wrong. Um, because English is up and down. Listen to English music and you will hear a rhythm. You'll hear a lot of different sounds. Up and down, da 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 da, da. rhythm. Yep. Yes, rising and falling intonation. Good habit. That's what I wanted to say. I'm sure. <laughs> so we look for the uh, content words. Did in negative forms are stressed. Put on. It's one verb. Facial verbs are stressed on both parts of the verb. Shoes last night. So only two words are not stressed. The first is I, that is pronoun. It's not stressed. And the second is my, it's possessive adjective. So no. A not stressed word, okay? So, let's look at the next sentence. I tried on some black shoes yesterday. I tried on some black shoes yesterday. Which words are content words here? I tried on some black shoes yesterday. I is not stressed. Tried on, it's phrase of verb. Tried on. Mm -hmm. Which words have the meaning in the sentence? Meaning. Mm -hmm. Black, okay. It's color. It has meaning. If I say to you the word black, you understand what it means. It has a meaning. It has a, a, a fixed idea. Black shoes yesterday. So lots of content words again. So we can see this sentence. I tried on some black shoes yesterday. I tried on some black shoes yesterday. You try saying this at home or wherever you are. I tried on some black shoes yesterday. So the, the unstressed syllable I is it's weak pronoun some determiner it's just a grammar word. It's not hasn't got any meaning. Yeah. Some some and it's reduced like some, some black shoes, some black shoes, yesterday, 
Look again, ER in this, in this word, not stressed, it's the schwa sound. Yesterday, yesterday. Mm -hmm. So all the power and strength is in the stressed syllable. Yes. And the rest is weak. Yesterday. Yes, that's right, Mr. Mahmoud has got it there. Functional words. Mm -hmm. So this is something you can practice at home and take any sentence and work out which words are content words and find the stress and then uh, practice saying it putting emphasis or stress on the stressed syllables yeah okay so we're going to have to finish about now any last questions now before we finish So it's nice to see you tonight. Hopefully I'll meet you again on WizIQ or in a different class. And uh, we can say we've done a lot of work. We looked at vocabulary, pronunciation, uh, grammar points, collocations, uh, sentence building, and sentence stress. So it's a lot of different things in our lesson. Next time if you have a microphone would be good. Really good. Then we could chat to somebody in the in the class. Because I'm sure you don't want to hear only my voice. Yeah. Okay, thank you Mr Mahmoud and everybody for coming. It's it's my pleasure to meet you. Yes, yeah, so have a nice evening and see you next time. Yeah. Bye bye.